so let's chat for a second. Um, so I haven't been doing this terribly long, and really I'm just kind of doing it to, to pass free time, um, you know, with coronavirus keeping me from, you know, being able to go out and take trips and stuff like that. It's just kind of a good way to, to be able to pass time, right? Um, it's also a good way to, to spend time with friends. I've got a couple of other friends that do some streaming here and there. And, uh, you know, so this isn't like a full-time job or anything, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's just more for fun than anything else. Um, I've heard uh, a number of people getting, you know, copyright claimed and all kinds of drama uh, in regards to, to copyright claiming on, on YouTube and everything. I've done a lot of due diligence. Um, I typically, like, I, I only use um, Stream Beats from Harris Heller, uh, who's uh, another YouTube Twitch streamer. Uh, he actually created, like, a bunch of music on his own and uh, gave out uh, licenses for other streamers to be able to use so people aren't getting their stuff claimed when they're going to, like, the copyright free uh playlists on on spotify and stuff so i've it been really really careful to make sure that i've got all my ducks in a row um when it comes to copyright just to make sure i don't you know get claims or get struck or anything like that and lo and behold um here we are just a little bit over a month since i started doing this and i got a copyright claim um and first, I was shocked. Uh, second, I was bewildered. Um, and then third, I was kind of angry. And then fourth, it was like, okay, let's have some fun with this. So, you know, I, I got a copyright claim on a video that I did recently for uh, an indie game called Rin Remedy. Um which yeah great game um and when i started drilling into it you know of course you hover over it tells you you know hey see the details and yes i am disputing this uh to be clear and upfront uh i'm also uh reaching out to uh a lawyer potentially to to fight this and i'll tell you why in a little bit but let's let's go through the story so I see the copyright claim, I look up the details, and, um, you know, it calls out the, the specific time frame that the content was found. Initially, I thought it was for the uh, streaming music that I was using from Harris Heller, and I'm like, how can that be possible? I have a license for this. So I disputed it, I responded it, you know, saying, you know, I'm licensed for this. Uh, I don't understand why this person is claiming it. But then I, I saw the timestamp and I'm like, wait a sec, I, I wasn't playing Spotify during that time frame. What, what the heck's going on here? And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play the video uh, because obviously they're, they're going off of, you know, they, they're, they're striking this. And I believe it was probably the content ID claim yeah, content ID claim. Um, so if I play the music in this video, it'll probably get struck too. Or not struck, but claimed. So um, I, I did a little digging and I, I looked up this guy and I was like, okay. Um, and I'm going to just mute these to make sure that I'm not going to get railed. But, um, you know, I, I, I look up this guy and first off in the claim you can see uh the artist info uh the song the artist um but the the claimant is actually tunecore um who filed it on behalf of the artist so i've i've heard about you know companies doing this before um running content claims and stuff so i'm like okay let's look into this a little bit and sure enough I, you know, go to, you know, I look this guy up on YouTube. Sure enough, compared to the time frame 
that the music is there, um, you know, it sounds very, very, very similar. So I'm like, crap, they're, you know, the, the developer, maybe they didn't do their homework, blah, blah, blah. So I reached out to the developer and I'll kind of go through what ensues here. Um, all these, all these links are going to be in the description below, by the way, but I, I go to the, the developer and I'm, I'm like, Hey, uh, I don't see like a credits thing in, in your game. So, uh, you know, I, I can't verify the artist there, but somebody's claiming my music. Uh, I posted, you know, the information that I got from the copyright claim. And then I also posted the video to review and I asked him, Hey, uh, did you make sure that you were properly licensed for this music? Because maybe they overlooked something. Maybe there was something in, not in the, uh, agreement that they had with the artist. Maybe, um, you know, the artist had their own video and they were doing content ID claims and it just got kind of scooped up in that whole thing. Um, but then they came back and they said, no, um, it, music is licensed under Creative Commons. This is this is who we used, and so I'm like, okay, um, you know. And they were like, hey, can you can you verify that the notice is correct? This, that, and the other. They'll look into it. Um, so I, I was like, this is weird. So I went to this uh, YouTube video once again. These are going to be in the description below, so you can listen for yourself. Sure enough, uh, at the 250 mark, two minutes and 50 seconds into this song, the exact same music that you hear on this artist's song, exactly the same. And I'm like, okay, something's going on here. And if you look, uh, I'm pretty sure these three views are me because I've been, keep, been going back and forth to this while I've been scraping links and stuff. But you can see it was uploaded February 13th, 2020. But if you look at the original artist, they uploaded the music May 1st, 2017. Um, and you can see in here, uh, it's stated expli explicitly, you know, music in this video is licensed under Creative Commons. So the developer, you know, not being a lawyer, but, you know, I get more of a warm fuzzy on that. But it's very, very clear once you listen to these two songs that the original artist is claiming or the the artist that is claiming my video is essentially repurposing this artist's work as their own, um, which as far as I know is copyright infringement. That That is flat out copyright infringement. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I've done a couple of things since then. First off, I, I noted, you know, I, I noted this and docked it in the thread. So I've kind of got a running record. Um, but I also did a little bit of, uh, hunting on who this tune core was and tune core is apparently just a uh, company that, um, you know, kind of helps musical artists and stuff like that, helps them sell their music and does distribution or something. But apparently they also do content claiming um, for their, their uh, artists. So what am I doing about this? Well, first, I'm, uh, first off, I'm, you know, disputing this. Uh, obviously, you know, I feel like I've got a pretty solid case. The artist, in fact, does not own the music. They're claiming it as their own. Um, so my, my thing is basically I'm going to dispute it, give them the opportunity to reply, um, and see how it goes. Now, my understanding of YouTube's process is that, uh, you know, somebody f files a claim, you go and dispute it, the person comes back and refuse the dispute, 
And if they think your dispute is BS, they, you know, they come back, they say it's BS, it continues, and then you can go through the appeal process. At some point, um, from what I understand, at some point, if there is a strike done and it goes any further, then the person who is claiming the video has to take legal action. So I've actually already reached out to a lawyer um, and I'm waiting to see, you know, if they reply. I, I feel like I've got a super strong case on this. I am totally willing to take this to the mat just because I've seen so many videos of YouTube claim trolls. Um, and it, it's one of those things where uh, people just either take their video down because they don't want to fight it or they don't have the money to fight it. Um, or, you know, it, it gets settled some other way. Um, I'm not really satisfied with either of those because I feel like there's kind of a precedent that has to happen. So I am fully prepared to hire a copyright attorney and take this to the mat. Um, but in the meantime, um, yeah, it, it's, it is what it is. Um, so basically my perspective is they don't own the music anyway because they very obviously boosted it from somebody else. Um, and we're going to go ahead and see how far this dispute goes. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd just go ahead and <laughs> kind of put it out there that this is happening because uh, yeah, it, it's kind of ridiculous, but um, yeah, it, this is kind of the state of the world we live in. So I will keep people informed and let you know what's going on. I'm not going to stop playing Let's Plays or, you know, uh, doing, you know, is it good reviews? Um, so, you know, for, for the time being, we'll see where it goes. So, um, yeah, that's it. And uh, looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Have a good one.